Good morning, ladies. Here it is Sunday morning again, and we are back live. How are you this morning? <clears throat> I'm just going to sit here for a minute and just enjoy this coffee. A little bit tired this morning, but I am here. How are you this morning? What's going on? Last week I came on. It must, I must have been a little bit late because Paula, one of the members in the group, she posted that uh, she was a little bit worried about me and I asked her why. And she said, because I was late. So this morning I wanted to make sure that I came on at exactly 7.30. I was just sitting here waiting for the clock to show up at 7.30 so that I could come on because I didn't want to be late. I didn't want her to call me out again. But at any rate, how's everyone doing this morning? Good morning, good morning. I'm just going to sit here and wait a few minutes to give um, ladies the opportunity to join. Uh, good morning, Julie. How are you? What are you drinking this morning? Wynetta, good to see you again. How are you? I got my beat up cup here this morning, ladies. I'm drinking coffee. What are you guys drinking? What do you have in your cup? How are you feeling this morning? What's going on? It's supposed to be another beautiful day here in Chicago. I think it's supposed to be 90 degrees. I'm not sure. I didn't really watch the news this morning. Hey, Megan. Good to see you. I'm just um, kind of relaxing a little bit this morning. I'm a little tired. I had a complete full day yesterday. Um, did Coffee Talk Live, and I'm going to talk about that in a few minutes. And then was out and about celebrating one of my friend's birthdays. So I actually woke up yesterday morning at 3.30, and um, I was out. I think I got home about 10 o'clock last night. So it was a very, very long day, but it was a great day. So... I'm not saying it to complain. I'm just letting y'all know if I'm dragging a little bit this morning, this is why I am dragging. Tia, good morning. Sheila, Pam, how are you? Sylvia, good morning. Um, so yeah, um, I may be dragging just a little bit this morning, but it's all good. I got up, got my coffee, wanted to make sure I got on line um, on time, because like I said earlier, in case you missed it, Paula, one of the members last week posted in the group that she was worried about me. Um, and I asked her why, and she said, because I was late. Uh, so maybe I came on at 7.31. So I wanted to make sure that I got on exactly on time this morning. But good morning, ladies. How are you this morning? Toya, good morning. How are you? I am enjoying my coffee, sitting here, tired, but it's all good. I'm grateful for Coffee Talk and grateful for you ladies for getting up every Sunday morning and joining me. You know I do not take your time for granted. I truly appreciate you. So let's get started with Coffee Talk. Yesterday was the milestone. Coffee Talk live on the road, yes. And I wanna give a shout out to all the ladies that came out and joined um, me yesterday for Coffee Talk live. But not only did they come out, but they were encouraging each other, supporting each other. And it was such a good space and place to be in. I truly, truly appreciated it. And I could have not asked for, number one, a better venue, and number two, for, for a better group of women. Um, you were so open and so encouraging and so supportive. And I just feel like it was another milestone, and I'm looking forward to getting out and doing more Coffee Talk Live. Um, so thank you ladies for coming out yesterday and for being open. I think that was also so important to be open, you know, and willing to share and to encourage and inspire each other. So for that, I truly thank you. And I'm looking forward to doing more Coffee Talks Live on the road. If I'm a little bit hoarse this morning, you have to bear with me because again, I'm a little bit tired. But let's get started with Coffee Talk. And I want to share some of the things that we talked a little bit about yesterday because I was thinking about this as I woke up this morning and I wanted to come back and, and just kind of, and I've talked about this before, but as I thought about it this morning, it's like, okay. So we started this year talking about get comfortable being uncomfortable, right? So here's the thing. If you want something different in your life, you have to do something different. You can't want something different, but be willing to step out of your comfort zone. 
you have to be willing to invest in yourself, your own personal development. You have to be willing to invest your time because it takes work. You have to be willing to invest your effort because it doesn't come easy. And you have to be willing to invest financially. If you can do it by yourself, that's wonderful. If you can find personal development books that you can do it by yourself, fine. But if not, you have to be willing to invest. And that, that means getting a coach or finding a plan, whatever it is, because if you want something different, and if you're not willing to do something different, you're going to get the exact same thing. So every single day, you are going to wake up and you're gonna do that exact same thing and nothing's gonna change. Absolutely nothing's going to change. So you have to decide if you're willing to invest in yourself. And if not, that's okay. But be okay with where you are. You can't want more and feel like you're not making progress. Know that there's more to you, questioning your life and not willing to do anything about it. And we talked about yesterday, midlife transition, because we talked about the stages of growth or the stages of life. And we go from one stage to the other and we progress through each stage. In each stage, whatever the challenges are, we work through them. If we have unresolved issues, we work through them because each stage is a transition. And we learn, we grow, and we move forward. But there is a stage that's called midlife transition. And in midlife transition, you get to that point where you question everything about your life. Even if you've achieved your dream, you question at what cost. Did you neglect some of your values? And then you start looking at your values. And some of us haven't even defined our values. And it's at that point where you start thinking about your values, you start thinking about your vision, because in midlife transition, you're starting to think, hey, half of my life is over. So you start thinking about life versus death. You start thinking about more constructive behavior versus destructive behavior, you know, when you're younger. You start thinking about tapping into the true essence of who you are, your authentic self. You start thinking about purpose. You start just questioning your life. And some of us, when we get to that point, we realize we want more. We realize we want something different for our life, for ourselves. And for some of us, we get stuck. I was one of those people that got stuck. But if you want something different, and I can't stress this enough, ladies, because it's so important because we're not used to taking care of ourselves. And I talk about giving yourself permission. So if you have to give yourself permission to put yourself first and take care of you, then give yourself permission. So you can decide if you're questioning your life if you're not feeling good about where you are, if you know you want more and you don't know how to move forward, so you get to decide, and this is the good thing about life, this is your decision, you get to decide if you're going to stay here, wherever that here, that space is, or if you're going to move forward. You get to decide because only you know if you need help or not. Only you know that. Nobody else does. And if you need help, then you have to be willing to invest in yourself. You can say, I don't have time. But if you truly don't have time, then you don't have time if you believe it. And you're going to get up the next day and you're going to do the same old thing that you did the day before. So I can't stress it enough. If you want something different, you have to be willing to do something different. And just a couple of things. Number one, you have to acknowledge that I want something different in my life. And then you have to focus on your mindset. You have to believe that you can make changes. You have to believe that you can learn new skills if that's what it takes. And if you don't have a plan, you need a plan. You need a strategy. 
And then you have to be committed. You have to be disciplined. And it's hard. And you know this, ladies, you know this. Whenever you want something different, whenever, life in general is hard. And when you want something different, if you start working a plan, it doesn't mean it's going to be easier. Initially, it's probably going to be even more difficult because your emotions are there. And you have to be able to work through some of those emotions. This is the thing. If you're in midlife transition or you're at any stage in your life, if you have unresolved issues, if you don't resolve the issues, it can stop you from growing and moving forward to the next stage. Just like your emotions can. If you don't deal with your emotions, they could be like cancer. They just eat at you and eat at you and eat at you and stop you from going forward. So if, if, I, if I can't share anything else with you, you can just take that away. If you want something different, you can't get up every single day and do the same thing. And it takes a lot of effort because you have to become focused. And you have to be committed and accountable. And someone said yesterday, you need an accountability partner? Get an accountability partner. You need a mentor? Get a mentor. You need a plan? Get a plan. You need a coach? Get a coach. But you, but you have to do something different. And you have to stay the course. Here's the deal. You work your plan, stay the course, sooner or later, you're going to step into your destiny. I was thinking about Coffee Talk this morning, and I was thinking about Coffee Talk Live on the road. I was thinking about my own vision and my own plans and my own goals. And I look, so every now and then I go back and look at some of my initial Coffee Talks when I first started, and I look at my Coffee Talks now. I become more disciplined. I become more focused. Even how I interact with the camera when I'm looking at you. So I've seen my progression. I've grown. So you have to start somewhere, though. You have to step out of your comfort zone. I wasn't comfortable when I first started doing Coffee Talk. I made all kinds of excuses. I don't want to put a makeup on. It's too early. What am I going to say? And now I don't like to miss Coffee Talk on, uh, on 7. I don't, sometimes I don't like getting up at 7.30. Actually, I'm up anyway. I'm only kidding. But I don't miss Coffee Talk. And it's the same thing with Coffee Talk Live. Yesterday was my first one. And I'm only going to, it's going to get better. But I stepped out. I've been working my plan. And there have been times I felt insecure, especially initially, but I kept going because I wanted something different for my life. For me personally, I knew God had more for me. And it was up to me to spend time focusing on the person within, to tap into that person so I can figure it out. Because whatever we want, whatever is for us, is already a part of us. We just have to give birth to it and bring it into the universe. So even as I was thinking about Coffee Talk Live, I've been working my plan. Yesterday was the first one. It's funny. We'll look back this time next year especially the ladies that was with me yesterday, we're going to look back this time next year. Guess what? We're going to see how far it's come. Because I, I'm going to learn from yesterday. I'm going to learn from the next one. And I'm going to learn from the next one. And I'm going to become stronger and stronger and stronger. It's the same thing. If you want something different, you have to declare it, be ready to do something different, and you only have to take is one small step. See, sometimes we get hung up because we think we have to take these major steps. And that's what some, for, for some of us is our downfall because when we try to take a big step and it doesn't work out for us, we get discouraged and we stop. Just take one small step. Coffee Talk Live, first time, one small step. I got on. I'm going to have to go back and look to see what I talked about the first time because I don't even remember. But I took that step. And maybe it was only one person in this, probably only one person came on and viewed, maybe. And I look at the group now when we started. It was one, maybe two, three people, my friends. 
And now we have a little over 300. So when we look back this time next year, because we're going to keep going, we'll be able to look back and see the progress. But each step we take or each step I take, I'm learning, I'm growing, and I'm moving on. But you have to start somewhere, even if you screw it up the first time. Because the first time I did, it wasn't Coffee Talk Live, but the first time I tried to go live, I think it was on my personal page, my, no, my business page. I didn't even know how to go live. I was trying to go through Safari. I said this before, instead of just going through Google, because you just hit the live button. And it took me six hours to figure it out. Seriously, I have a video someplace of it. I'll have to share it one day. But I, I, didn't, I didn't quit. But I took a step. So if I can't share anything else today with you, you can just walk away with that. If you want something different, ladies, you have to be willing to invest your time, effort, and money if need be. Because here's the thing, ladies, and I know some of you won't like this, but you'll invest outwardly. You know, because we're going to step out the door, we're going to be fine. But when it comes to personal development, for some reason, we don't take the same approach. So invest in yourself. If you're ready and you want to make changes, go back to the captain and the crew. You get up every single morning, your subconscious knows what to do. When you, unless you tell it to do something differently, it's going to do the same thing. And the captain, that's your conscious. You have to be conscious of what you want, be present, to be present in your own life. Acknowledge it. This is what I want. I'm going to get out. I'm going to find the plan. I'm going to do it. I'm committed. I'm going to stay the course I'm going through. Because here's the thing, ladies. If you take one small step and another small step and another small step and another small step, sooner or later, you're going to look back and you're going to see just how far down the road you've come. And you're going to be moving and moving and you're getting closer and closer to your destiny. And as you take one small step, and you take another small step, and another small step, each step, your confidence gets a little bit stronger. It's like working that muscle. You start to become more and more confident. That noise in your head to tell you you can't do it. You start to learn how to quiet it. And before you know it, this time next year, you look back, you got a plan, you're working it, you feel good, you're on the right track, and you've started to work through some of the difficulties, some of the unresolved issues. That's coffee talk, ladies. I can't stress it enough that if you want it, it's up to you. And if you are okay where you are, that's fine too, because this is your life. This is your life. Nobody's here to judge you or anything. We're here to embrace you, encourage you, and so we and love on you. But I'm just sharing if you want something different. And that's where I was, midlife transition stopped. But I knew I couldn't stay there because I was unfulfilled. And I was unfulfilled staying in that space. I was frustrated and I won't lie, I was afraid because I knew there was more. I was afraid. Like if I stay in this space, am I living my purpose? I wasn't serving any purpose at all, so I know I wasn't living my purpose. That was just me personally. So with that being said, ladies, it's up to you. You know where you are, but you can. You can move forward and start to live or start to create the life that you want, but only you can do it. Because nobody can work that for you. You can get accountability partner, you can get a support group, but you, but you have to do the work. Nobody can do it. So that's Coffee Talk this morning, ladies. I'm gonna look really quickly to see what comments, and then I wanna tell you about the workshop I have coming up. And, um, that's it.
It's a wrap. So let's see what we got here. Um, thanks, Toya. She gave me a compliment. I'll take it. Tracy, no, it doesn't come easy. But here's the thing, Tracy. If you're living and you're not working towards achieving what you desire, it's difficult because it's difficult. I think this is me. I think it's difficult to stay in that space when it's a space that you really don't want to be in because that's difficult too. But if you just take one small step, it does get easier. It gets easier. You're right, Toya. You have to do something. Be committed and accountable. Accountable to yourself. Because what happens to you and through you is your responsibility. Moving forward, right? You're right, Pam. It's going to get better. But it won't if you don't take a step. This is what Pam is saying. It gets better. But you have to be willing to take a small step, ladies. Because once you take that small step, and that's the thing. Once you take one step, you'll take another one and another one. You know, once you make up your mind, and you know women, because once we make up our minds, we can do anything we want to. But you have to start. So with that being said, ladies, I want to tell you real quickly, I have a workshop coming up August the 3rd. That's my Witness the Most Powerful You workshop, and I created this workshop. It consists of five principles. I created this workshop to help women create and live the life that they desire. Um, so if you're looking for a strategy or a plan, the great opportunity. I work it. Um, and it helped me. You know, it helped me. And I, matter of fact, I created it because I started working a plan. And I created it because I wanted to be able to share it. So if you're looking for a workshop, if you're looking for a plan or life-changing strategy, um, and even to be in a place and a space where you can be your authentic self. It's a great opportunity. It's the same thing like Copy Talk Live. And um, there, there are some of the women that were, that's on here now that was at the workshop, um, was at the uh, Copy Talk Live yesterday. They'll tell you the space is safe where you can, you know, be yourself without being judged or discouraged because it's, it's all about love and support. And that's what I do in the workshop. I really focus on helping you it's four hours, so, and it's a small investment, you know? I was talking about investing in your own personal self. It's 149 bucks. And ladies, you know, you spend more than that at the salons on Saturdays. I'm just saying. It's a small investment with a great return. A great return. If you want something different, because you'll leave there, you know, focusing on the vision and goals and taking those small steps. Because I don't believe in trying to leap. I help you take small steps. Because when you see that you can accomplish the small steps, you get it, you, uh, that keeps you encouraged and inspired so you can keep going. So ladies, I think I looked at all the comments. So I think uh, we are good to go. Shout out again and my thanks to all the ladies that showed up yesterday. I really appreciate you. I know my friend Ubong is on here, I believe. Um, Ubong is my ride or die. She makes sure I show up and uh, makes sure I show up on time. So, and everybody needs a friend like that. Everybody needs somebody, and I know you do. And sometimes when you get ready to make changes in your life, you know, you have to find that support, somebody that's gonna hold you up to help you believe in yourself until you get strong enough to believe in you. Um, so with that being said, ladies, that's Coffee Talk. You know I will be back here next Sunday. Um, I do not take your time for granted. I appreciate you. Thank you so much for showing up every Sunday morning and uh, spending time with me. Love and blessings to you and your families. Have a great week. I'll see you back here next Sunday. Have a great day, ladies. Thank you. Bye.